This is how the West has a fighting chance to beat China in this AI arms race. Everybody's distracted by the models. They have the biggest computer. They have the fastest AI. And at the end of the day, we know that DeepSeek is 96% cheaper with the AI that's available from ChatGPT. So how can you make a profit when everything is going to zero? It's open source. Anyone can install it on their computer. Well, the parallel is this. In 2006, Amazon created AWS. They offered infinite server space for pennies on the dollar. This disrupted server manufacturers. So what happened after Amazon made servers cheaper? It created companies such as Uber, Airbnb, and Netflix, and they thrived. And some of them turned into trillion dollar companies just because of what Amazon did. Did Amazon make a ton of money from their server space? To a point, they're very profitable and successful, but no comparison is their hosting business more successful than any of the businesses that are running on it. And if AI is going to be accessible, how are startups going to create wrappers and dominate this space? They're, first of all, they're going to be bigger than these models because models are going to get cheaper they're going to get faster and the hardware and the computers are going to get better. That doesn't matter. It requires a good user experience. Why did ChatGPT become number one? It wasn't because their AI was the best at the time. It was the user experience. It was the interface. It was that chat box. It was simple and anybody could use it. That same sort of interface and design can go into building new products and projects, such as case text, a legal tool that helps small businesses create contracts with ease and also saves lawyers a ton of time. These new companies are going to sprout up using AI and at the end of the day, they're building a moat with their customers. They're building a moat with their user adoption because if, if you can build a tool where a customer goes to it without even thinking, that could be a customer for life, especially if all you have to do as a business to plug in a new AI that's gonna make the experience that much better for your customers. Who do you think is gonna win this AI arms race? Do you think it's gonna be the West or do you think it's going to be the East? Tell me down below in the comments which AI you think is going to be the superpower and have supreme supremacy in the years to come.